So I thought it'd be a, a good idea to share some of my favorite Amish communities to visit. Now, there are over 600 Amish communities, and I have visited around 70 of them in 17 states. So number one, Holmes County, Ohio. What do I like about this community? Well, it's a beautiful area. It's a very friendly community overall. This is actually the second largest Amish community. In Holmes County itself, Amish make up nearly half of the population. So it's very heavily Amish. If you want to see the full, really, range of Amish, in terms of the most conservative to the most progressive Amish, then this would be the place to go. You have everything from the very plainest Amish all the way up to the most progressive Amish that use tractors in the fields. There are lots of shops, lots of restaurants, lots of places to see. It's just a real pleasant experience to drive through this community. Uh, stop in at Amish stores. Always love visiting Holmes County. Number two, Etheridge, Tennessee. So what do I like about this community? Well, so this is a Swartz and Trooper Amish community, and these are the pretty much the most plain of all Amish. What's really attractive about this place is if you like to go to Amish businesses and stop in and buy things from Amish shops or even from the front porch of an Amish home, uh, this, is a, this is the community for you because there are a ton of little stores selling, you know, all sorts of Amish made goods. Everything from candles to rugs to furniture to produce to canned goods to all sorts of things. I even bought this homemade basketball game uh, there that an Amishman made using a plastic spoon. I think this was like $4. Had a nice conversation with the, the older man who, who makes and sells these. I always recommend people, if, if you want to meet Amish people, the best way to do that is to visit them and their businesses. This place offers a lot of opportunity to do that. And it's a plainer Amish group, so you see how some of the plainest Amish live. Quite simple and tech-restricted conditions, let's say. So great community, one of the largest Amish communities in the South. Number three, this would be Big Valley, Pennsylvania. Uh, Big Valley is a nickname for the Kishikoquilis Valley. So you see why it has a nickname. Uh, this is in Mifflin County, Pennsylvania, right in the center of the state. So what's nice about this community, this is a beautiful area. As the name says, it's literally in a 30 mile long by about five mile wide valley. And that's where the Amish you know, live all throughout the valley. The other thing that's very interesting is you find really three specific groups of Amish here, each distinct from one another, and that's probably best seen in the colors of the buggies because within this one valley you will find black buggies, yellow buggies, and white top buggies. The Nebraska Amish are considered the most conservative of those uh, three. You can see that reflected in the style of their buggies. They have open fronts. They only have lanterns on the side, not you know battery-powered lights like most other Amish buggies will have. There's a weekly auction there in the town of Belleville, which is right in the middle of the valley and you'll see a lot of Amish uh, people buying and selling things there. A little bit off the beaten path as well, especially compared to number four on my list, which is Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. This community is the oldest of all Amish communities. It's technically the largest, although it's just, just a little bit larger than the Holmes County community. This is a really beautiful, picturesque area. I mean, people say, you know, these are some of the neatest and most well cared for farms that you'll find among the Amish. I have some of my closest Amish friends living here in Lancaster County. This area has a lot of history and it's of course it's very well geared to visitors. A lot of restaurants, a lot of Amish businesses that you can visit, places to stay. You do get a lot of people that visit Lancaster County so it is the most popular community to visit of them all. And finally, number five. Now there were a number of communities I thought could go into this spot, but for the last spot here, I put Brooks Garden, Virginia. And why, why do I have this small, very small Amish community that's tucked away in the corner of the Appalachian Mountains in Western Virginia? You know, why is this on my list? The main reason I put it here is just, it's such a unique location and also very <laughs> difficult to get to which I think in my mind adds to its appeal in a way. Burke's Garden is a community that's within a valley that's enclosed on all sides. And there's really only one paved road going into the valley. Very winding, a lot of switchbacks, cutbacks to get into this community. So when you get there, you really feel like you've 
you know, gone there on purpose. You meant to get there. You don't accidentally drive through Brooks Garden. Now, it's a quite a small community. There's only maybe between one and two dozen Amish households there. That said, there are several Amish businesses there, including two general stores, well, food stores, where you can get food, canned goods, and those sorts of things. These Amish are originally from Delaware. How did this unique valley get created? Well, it kind of looks like a dormant volcano from above, but that's not what it is. It's said that there was once a limestone mountain here that collapsed upon itself a long time ago. Just a beautiful setting, very isolated, very off the beaten path, very kind of interesting backstory to this community. And that gets it a spot on my list. So there's some honorable mention communities that I could have put on this list. Those would include Davis County, Indiana, a really friendly community in southern Indiana, one of the first Amish communities I ever visited. Uh, West Cliff, Colorado. So this is one I just recently visited, just an amazingly beautiful area with a Sangre de Cristo mountain range, kind of as a backdrop to this small community. New Wilmington, Pennsylvania. The Amish here have kind of brown top buggies. The doors of the homes here are typically painted in a sky blue color. It's very picturesque. And also Pinecraft, Florida. Pretty unique community in that you won't find any Amish buggies here. This is kind of the Amish vacation spot, different from all other Amish communities in that sense. One of the last places you'd expect to find Amish, basically a Sarasota area neighborhood, a neat and unique location. So that's my list. Let me know. I'm really curious. What's your favorite community or communities that you've been to? Let me know in the comments. If you're going to be visiting an Amish community, I did a video giving my five best tips on getting the most out of your visit. If you like this video, hit the like button. I appreciate that. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.